As a safety manager, you're probably going to run into a situation where you have workers in an area where there's a high level of noise. You take measurements to identify the decibel level of the noise in that area. But now you need to know how long they can safely work in that area before additional modifications need to be implemented. You know, before we have to require them to wear hearing protection or, or before we need to look at other uh, more engineering level of, of controls for the noise problem. Uh, so in that situation, your, your, your question is how long can they work in this area before we need to do something? Uh, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you the formula and the quantitative method for calculating the allowed time in a work area based upon a particular level of noise. And the formula I'm going to be showing you is based upon the NIOSH recommendation. OSHA also, there's another formula if you're going by the OSHA PEL, but we're going to, I'm just going to show you the, the NIOSH formula. Here's a situation for a practice problem. We have workers in an area where the sound level is 92 decibels. How long can they work in that area without making modifications? Again, based on the NIOSH recommended exposure limit, or the REL. Here's the formula that we use when we need to know the allowed time in a particular work area. Okay, let me go back and explain uh, what all the different variables, the different symbols and letters and stuff mean. You know, T is the time that we're calculating. Eight is a constant based upon an eight hour work day. Two is a constant. Three is a constant and 85 is a constant uh, based upon the NIOSH uh, exposure limits. Three is the exchange rate. 85 decibels is the threshold set by NIOSH. Um, for hearing exposure. The only, the only variable that we have to plug in a number for is L, and L is the sound level. In our problem it's 92 decibels. So let's go ahead and plug everything in and do the calculations. And what we end up here with uh, in this situation is a fractional exponent, which no big deal. Get 92 minus 85 is 7. So we, at this point in this iteration, we have 8 divided by 2 to the 7 divided by 3 power, or 8 divided by the 8 divided by 2 to the power of 7 divided by 3 okay let's simplify that that 7 divided by 3 would be 2 and 1 third or 2.33 okay, let's figure out what 2 to the power of 2.33 is, and we're using the uh, Windows 10 scientific calculator. 2 x to the y key, 2.33 is 5.02. So 8 divided by 5.03. Actually, it's 5.028, so I'm going to go ahead and round that to 5.03. And the last step in the calculation, all we need to do is divide 8 by 5.03.
and 1.59 hours. 1.59 hours and you know we're used to working in hours and minutes so I'm going to convert the 0.59 hours to minutes 60 minutes in an hour times 0.59 equals 35 let's just call that one hour 36 minutes one hour and 36 minutes is how long they can work in an area where their noise exposure is 92 decibels. How long they can work there until they, they need to take uh, protective measures. All right, that's it. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, go back and watch the video again. If, you're, if something's not quite clear, call me, email me. I'm more than happy to help.